Central Asia, a vast region often referred to as the crossroads of the ancient world, holds secrets that could rewrite our understanding of human migration. Imagine a place where the ancient Silk Road intertwined cultures, where nomadic tribes left their marks in the sands of time, and where the DNA of its people holds the key to untangling humanity's shared journey. But what if this genetic tapestry could answer some of the most profound questions about our past? How did early humans move out of Africa and spread across Eurasia? What role did Central Asia play in connecting East and West, shaping the populations we see today? Scientists have turned to ancient DNA to unravel these mysteries, digging deep into the genomes of people who lived thousands of years ago. What they've discovered is astonishing. A region where the East met the West, a genetic melting pot shaped by millennia of migrations and cultural exchanges. And it's not just about the past. Central Asia's DNA could also reveal untapped insights into who we are today. Could it hold clues to your own ancestral story? Stick around, because this journey into the genetic heart of Eurasia is about to begin. Central Asia has long been a critical bridge between continents, civilizations, and peoples. Its significance in human migration begins over 60,000 years ago, when the first modern humans ventured out of Africa. As they spread across the globe, Central Asia emerged as a key waypoint, a vast, open landscape where populations from the east and west converged, mixed, and evolved. This region was not just a geographical passage but also a cultural and genetic melting pot. The Silk Road, often romanticized as the ancient highway of trade, was more than just a route for silk and spices. It facilitated an exchange of ideas, technologies, languages, and, most importantly, genes. Nomadic tribes like the Scythians, Huns, and later the Mongols swept through this land, carrying with them their unique genetic legacies. What makes Central Asia truly fascinating is the evidence preserved in its DNA. Ancient genomes reveal that the region was a crossroads where Eastern and Western Eurasian lineages met. For instance, the early Indo-Europeans, who spoke some of the world's most influential languages, left genetic imprints in Central Asia, connecting the region to Europe. Later, the Turkic migrations brought East Asian genetic influences, creating the diverse population we see today. Central Asia's role wasn't passive, it actively shaped the genetic and cultural identities of the civilizations that interacted with it. The genetic traces of Central Asian populations can still be found in modern peoples across Europe, the Middle East, South Asia, and East Asia. It's a testament to the region's pivotal role in human history, one that continues to echo in our DNA. The secrets of human migration are etched deep within our DNA, and Central Asia holds some of the most compelling genetic markers that unveil these mysteries. These markers, specific variations in mitochondrial DNA, mtDNA, Y-chromosomes, and autosomal DNA, act like breadcrumbs, tracing the movement of ancient populations across continents. Take, for instance, the mitochondrial haplogroups M and N, which trace their origins to Africa but radiate outward through Eurasia. Central Asia became a vital crossroads for these haplogroups, splitting into branches that reached Europe, East Asia, and even as far as the Americas. Similarly, Y-chromosome markers like our 1 z 93 linked to the ancient Indo-Iranians, highlight migration waves from the Eurasian steppes into South Asia, influencing linguistic and cultural landscapes. But it doesn't stop there. Haplogroups D4C and G2A, unique to Central Asia, indicate local expansions dating back over 25,000 years, proving that this region wasn't merely a passage but also a center of innovation and development. These lineages spread outward, contributing to the genetic diversity of populations from Siberia to the Middle East. Autosomal DNA also paints a picture of profound admixture. Turkic migrations brought ancient Northeast Asian DNA into Central Asia, blending it with existing Indo-Iranian genetic signatures. This admixture created populations with genetic footprints that are distinctly Central Asian yet reflect influences from distant lands like Mongolia and Mesopotamia. What's remarkable is how modern technology enables us to decode these genetic stories. By studying ancient genomes and modern descendants, scientists are piecing together how migrations shaped everything from disease resistance to physical traits. Each genetic marker is a testament to human resilience and adaptation, a mosaic of history embedded in our very cells. Central Asia's genetic diversity doesn't just reflect its past, it provides a roadmap for understanding how humans moved, interacted, and evolved. 
and as DNA research advances, we're uncovering even more connections, showing just how integral this region is to the human story. Imagine a region that has witnessed countless migrations, from ancient caravans traversing the Silk Road to nomadic tribes shaping empires. Central Asia, nestled between towering mountain ranges and expansive steppes, has always been more than just a geographical space. It's a living archive of human movement and interaction. The Silk Road stands as a vivid symbol of this crossroads. For over 1,500 years, it connected east and west, facilitating not just trade but also cultural and genetic exchange. Goods like silk, spices, and precious metals flowed along these routes. But so did people, ideas, and, most importantly, DNA. This movement left indelible marks on the genetic makeup of Central Asian populations. But Central Asia's role as a migration hub predates the Silk Road. Ancient Indo-Iranian tribes traversed these lands during the Bronze Age, bringing with them not just their languages but also distinctive genetic signatures. Later, Turkic and Mongolic tribes swept through, blending their Northeast Asian ancestry with the existing gene pool. These migrations were not mere invasions. They were interactions, creating a mosaic of cultures and lineages that persist to this day. The region's geography played a pivotal role in its history as a migration crossroads. The Pema and Tian Shan Mountains acted as natural barriers, funneling migrations into specific corridors. Meanwhile, the expansive steppes served as open highways for nomadic herders, enabling large-scale movements over thousands of kilometers. What's fascinating is how these ancient migrations shaped modern Central Asian populations. The genetic diversity here reflects waves of movement from both East and West, creating communities with lineages tied to Europe, the Middle East, and East Asia. For example, the genetic profiles of Kazakhs and KYRGYZ reveal a high proportion of East Asian ancestry, while Tajiks show closer ties to West Eurasian populations. Even today, the genetic mosaic of Central Asia reminds us of its historical role as a bridge between civilizations. Each migration wave, whether peaceful or turbulent, added layers to the region's identity, making it a living testament to humanity's interconnected past. As we delve deeper into the genetic history of Central Asia, we uncover not just stories of the past but insights that hold tremendous value for the present and future. Ancient DNA from this region is shaping fields as diverse as anthropology, medicine, and even our understanding of human resilience. One of the most exciting breakthroughs comes from studying how ancient Central Asian populations adapted to extreme environments. For instance, high-altitude populations like the KYRGYZ of the PAMAs exhibit genetic traits linked to oxygen efficiency. These findings help researchers develop new treatments for conditions like hypoxia, which affects people living or working at high altitudes worldwide. Then there's the medical potential hidden in the genetic diversity of Central Asia. The region's history as a crossroads means its populations carry a blend of East and West Eurasian ancestry, making them invaluable for genome-wide association studies. By analyzing their DNA, scientists can uncover genetic markers linked to diseases like diabetes, cardiovascular issues, and immune system disorders, offering insights that benefit people far beyond Central Asia. This genetic diversity also challenges long-standing narratives about migration and identity. Studies show that ancient Central Asian DNA isn't a static relic but a dynamic record of human adaptation and interaction. From the Bronze Age Yemnair migrations to the movements of Indo-Iranian and Turkic peoples, these findings illuminate how humanity has navigated change over millennia. Moreover, understanding Central Asia's genetic history can guide conversations about modern identity and cultural heritage. For instance, populations like the Uzbeks and Uyghurs reflect centuries of migration and intermingling showcasing how diversity is a strength rather than a divide. These narratives challenge notions of cultural purity and encourage a more inclusive view of human history. But perhaps the most profound implication is what this DNA tells us about our shared humanity. At its core, Central Asia's genetic story is a reminder that no population exists in isolation. Every migration, every interaction, has shaped who we are today. And as we unravel these stories, we gain not just knowledge but also a deeper connection to the broader human experience. The genetic legacy of Central Asia is more than just a record of ancient migrations and adaptations. It's a bridge connecting humanity's past with its future. But why does this legacy still hold such significance in today's world? 
One answer lies in the region's role as a genetic crossroads. Central Asia's populations, shaped by millennia of migrations and interactions, offer a unique window into how diverse ancestries can coexist and thrive. This isn't just a historical curiosity. It's a model for understanding the genetic consequences of globalization. In an increasingly interconnected world, studying these genetic patterns can help us anticipate and address health challenges that arise from blending diverse populations. Another key aspect is the region's potential to solve medical mysteries. Central Asia's genetic diversity, coupled with its unique evolutionary pressures, provides a natural laboratory for discovering new treatments and interventions. For instance, genes associated with immune responses in Central Asian populations could shed light on how our bodies evolved to combat ancient diseases and how we can fight modern ones. Cultural narratives are also enriched by Central Asia's genetic story. As more people explore DNA testing to trace their roots, the region's role in human history becomes increasingly important. Central Asian ancestry, whether through ancient Indo-Europeans, Turkic migrations, or Silk Road interactions, connects people from Europe to East Asia and beyond. It's a reminder that our histories are intertwined. No matter how distinct we might appear on the surface. Importantly, the genetic story of Central Asia also challenges us to rethink what we know about identity. Modern nations in the region, like Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, and Kyrgyzstan, have diverse cultural heritage that reflect their genetic complexity. By embracing these shared histories, societies can foster greater unity and appreciation for their diverse roots. Finally, Central Asia's genetic legacy underscores the resilience of the human spirit. From surviving harsh climates to rebuilding after invasions, the people of this region demonstrate humanity's capacity to adapt and endure. Their story reminds us that even in the face of immense challenges, we carry within us the strength of those who came before. So, as we continue to study the genetic landscape of Central Asia, it's clear that this legacy matters, not just for the insights it offers into our past, but for the guidance it provides as we move into the future. It's a living testament to the power of diversity, resilience, and connection that defines us all. As we bring our exploration of Central Asian DNA to a close, one thing becomes abundantly clear. This region is more than just a geographical crossroads. It's a living archive of humanity's journey, a place where the footprints of our ancestors converge, intertwine, and continue to evolve. Central Asia's story reminds us that our differences, whether genetic, cultural, or linguistic, are not divisions but connections. They tell us how humanity has adapted, migrated, and thrived across millennia. And today, as we face challenges that test our resilience, whether pandemics, climate change, or global migration, these lessons couldn't be more relevant. But these insights are only possible if we continue to delve into the genetic tapestry of regions like Central Asia. There's so much more waiting to be discovered, answers to questions about our shared ancestry, our adaptations to diverse environments, and even solutions to modern health crises. That's why investing in genetic research and supporting collaborations across borders is vital. So, here's where you come in. Every new study, every DNA sample analyzed, and every piece of knowledge shared contributes to a better understanding of who we are and where we're going. You don't have to be a scientist to participate in this journey. Share what you've learned today, spark conversations, or support initiatives that advance genetic research and cultural preservation. Because the story of Central Asia isn't just about the past, it's a story about all of us, a reminder of the connections we share as a species. By uncovering its secrets, we're not only learning about those who came before us but also laying the foundation for a more connected and resilient future. Let's continue exploring, questioning, and celebrating the incredible journey of humanity. After all, the key to understanding who we are might just lie in places we've yet to fully uncover, like the heart of Central Asia. We've journeyed through millennia, tracing the stories hidden in the DNA of Central Asia, a region that holds the key to understanding migration, diversity, and adaptation. But this is only the beginning. The tapestry of human history is vast, and every thread we uncover leads to more questions. What other secrets do the genes of ancient populations hold? How can modern technology and collaboration unlock even deeper insights into the migrations that shaped our world? Here's your chance to become part of this exploration. Imagine the stories we can uncover together, stories that unite us as a global community. 
by supporting genetic research, reading and sharing discoveries, or even traveling to regions rich in history like Central Asia. You can help keep this journey alive. We'd love to hear your thoughts. What aspect of Central Asian DNA fascinated you the most? Do you have questions about migration patterns, genetic diversity, or the cultural influences we've discussed today? Share your thoughts in the comments, and let's keep the conversation going. And if you enjoyed today's dive into the genetic and historical wonders of Central Asia, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. There's so much more to explore, and we'd love for you to join us as we uncover the mysteries of our shared past. Remember, the key to understanding humanity's future lies in learning from its past. So, let's keep discovering, together.